19F, 23M. My boyfriend is super offended that I find a celebrity attractive. TLDR. I told my boyfriend I loved an actor. He's upset that I said I loved an actor but not him and is semi-equating it to being unfaithful I think? WTF? I'm 19F, my boyfriend is 22M, we've been dating 3 months. I, like most people, I believe, have celebrity crushes. Those people you find attractive but know you'll never be in the same room as or ever have a chance with. I feel it's fairly normal to be attracted to celebrities, for most of them it's part of their job to look hot. Recently my boyfriend asked if I wanted to watch a movie and I responded, OMG yes that has X in it, I love him. Dot. My boyfriend looks at me weirdly and asks me if I said I loved him. I said yeah he's one of my favorite actors. My boyfriend then gets a kinda shitty attitude and goes, oh so you love him but not me okay. Me and my boyfriend have only been together 3 months so we haven't said I love you or even talked about it so I was super confused. BF decided he didn't want to watch the movie anymore and seemed irritated so I asked him what was wrong. After a bit he finally began grilling me about why I loved this guy. I was again confused and said X was cute and talented and one of my favorite actors, what's the big deal? He was all upset that I loved someone else while with him. I tried to explain that I loved his movies and his characters, not him, FFS I don't know the guy or who he is, he's a celeb crush and told him I assumed he had female celeb crushes. He got really upset and said absolutely not. He'd never even look at or think about another woman that way while with me and I was super disrespectful talking about how I was in love with another guy in front of him, and implied I wasn't attracted to him, bf, if I thought he, actor, was hot. This is my first relationship so I dk maybe I did fuck up here. Me and my girlfriends talk about our fave movies and actors and when we say we love them it doesn't mean we're in love with them just that we're fans. He's been super cold lately and sharp with me and I'm starting to worry that maybe I did fuck things up. Please help me understand what the fuck is going on. BF, hey babe, want spaghetti tonight? Op, OMG I love Italian food. BF, pouting you fucking what? Huge red flags. Chalk this up to learning about red flags and walk away. Giant red flag that he's angry about this and doesn't know the difference between a fan saying, I love him. About a public figure and someone saying, I love you, to their romantic partner. This is actually worrisome. Has he shown other signs of jealousy or possessiveness? Too much an opinion about your wardrobe? Maybe a little too interested in your activities where you go, who you talk to, what you talk about. Checking in, a little too much? Getting sulky or salty if you don't answer your phone, respond to a text right away. LMAO that dude isn't gonna make it in any relationship being that fragile. 28M, 27F, my wife cheated on me and left my son at school for hours. I thought my six-year relationship was true and on solid ground but after yesterday, I need to figure out how to rebuild trust. Yesterday, I had a huge meeting with my work and stayed until 6. I then get a call from school saying our son was stuck for hours at the school. I picked him up and apologized as my wife was supposed to pick him up. I tried calling her and she wouldn't answer. I finally tracked her phone and lord behold, she was with a friend of mine from work. I went to their place and yelled at the two of them. She gave the apologizes but you couldn't bring myself to forgive her yet. I decided to take our son and stay with my sister while I think things through. I want this to work as I don't really want a fractured family but how can trust be built back up again? The main point of your post is your wife put her interest above her child. How can you forgive that? How can you build trust with her? I am not sure you can. You have to leave her. It will only become worse, and your child being exposed to her lifestyle is worse than not having a mom. 26F, 30M, boyfriend betrayed me and I don't know what to do. I've never posted on here before but feel a need to ask for advice. My boyfriend of 2.5 years betrayed me and I feel sick to my stomach. Our relationship has been amazing until this point, and I truly feel like I could spend the rest of my life with him. But now that this happened, I don't know how realistic that is. He didn't cheat, but I'm still hurt. Backstory. We both have been having some health issues and have been seeing doctors to get to the bottom of it. One time at the doctor, we meet a girl who is going through health issues, too. We all talk, but the whole time she's only talking to my BF, and it's like I'm a ghost. I couldn't help but feel kind of threatened. Life moves on for a little, but then my boyfriend sees her again at the doctor, this time by himself. He told me he saw her but that's all he told me. 
Fast forward two weeks later, I was helping him with something and saw a text. He texted her asking if she wanted to go grab a coffee or go to the beach and talk. He didn't tell me he got her number, planned to meet up with her, or even that they were actively making plans. And like I said, I met her too. It's weird to me that he wants to get solo time with her. I confronted him about it and he was extremely apologetic, acknowledging it as messed up, acknowledging it would have hurt him too, and agreeing he won't go if it makes me uncomfortable. Even though he's the one who broke my trust, he also said he felt heartbroken for how he made me feel. And he said he just didn't know how to tell me because he didn't want it to make me upset, and that he was going to eventually tell me when they had set plans. He claims he wanted to connect with someone who is also going through what we're going through, the health stuff, and just felt really connected with her after meeting her. I guess my question is how do I get past this? I feel like my trust for him has completely vanished. It's hard for me to trust his intention with asking for her number and asking to meet when it was so secretive like this. Too long did not read. My boyfriend asked another girl to go get coffee and didn't tell me but claims he was eventually going to but I feel betrayed and like I can't trust him now. Edit to add. I appreciate the answers but I'm looking more for advice. I.e. if you've been in a similar situation and if you did, didn't get past it and how, how not. It's shady. Sounds like he was planning to cheat. He's backtracking because you discovered it. Is he blocking her on everything? Edited fixed punctuation and word in last sentence. When you met her the first time she clearly showed her interest in him. She wasn't it looking for friendship. Then when he saw her the second time he nev she was into him. People talking about friendship here it's not what it's about. He would have mentioned what he was planning to do if it was friendship. Your boyfriend has been disrespectful to your relationship since you met this woman. He has allowed her to intentionally ignore you and push you out of their friendship. He has been slowly building up to cheating. Is he willing to cut her off and go and see with her? If he was up front and told you that he'd got her number and that they were chatting as friends then I'd say he was entitled to have a friend, but he didn't. He lied and was making plans behind your back. Sorry but it does sound off. 31F, 34M, fiancé excited by amount of, thoughts, at a bar. I don't know whether I'm overreacting or not. My heart is racing and I'm shaking from how angry I am. He texted a co-worker that there were so many bitches at Buffalo Wild Wings. It's a ridiculous amount of B words in here. Nah bro there were so many young thoughts there. California underscore sober better not get me mad again. For context after having our second child I caught him sexting a co-worker and forgave him. Recently he's been a complete asshole and I've been making excuses for him, saying he's under the weather and holidays are hard for him BCUZ of issues with his family. He's going to downplay the hell out of this when I ask about it and I want to know ahead of time if I'm overreacting. I'm trying not to be insecure. I've had three C-sections, currently have a one-year-old, and it shows, I'm holding on to about 20 pounds of baby weight and don't have great muscle tone. I want to work out but genuinely don't have time, and when I do have a rare moment I'm tired. I'm so much more than my body but he doesn't, it's like he doesn't appreciate who I am as a person. It's been feeling forced for a while so seeing this just kinda confirms my suspicions that he isn't satisfied. I caught him sexting a coworker and forgave him. I'd be way more upset over this than some, thought, comment at a bar. Recently he's been a complete asshole. I suspect it isn't only so recently, but yeah if there are no consequences for bad behavior, said behavior gets reinforced. If he can sext a coworker and get away with it, he definitely doesn't expect you to go nuclear over this comment, right? Anyway, you're not overreacting doubly not given his past behavior. Are you sure this is the role model you want for your children? TBH I'd have hit the road when the first sexting incident happened. Seems that his attitude towards women is appalling and very sexist. Children in the mix always makes it more difficult but I'd seriously consider couple counseling or breaking up and finding someone who will respect you, and all women for that matter, a lot better.